Now to a fight on the subway that turned deadly yesterday. Yeah, PIX 11 sources say the man who was killed had a long criminal history, including more than 40 arrests, including for assault and lewd conduct. Now, he was involved in a confrontation on an F train near the Broadway Lafayette station. We've learned the other man involved in the fight is a Marine. Yeah, PIX 11's Katie Corrado is live at that station tonight, getting some reaction from subway riders. Corey Shirley, good evening to you both. The Broadway Lafayette subway station is one of the busiest in the city, but yesterday it was a crime scene, and tonight we are learning more about the chaotic scene that unfolded here yesterday. Police say they received a 911 call Monday afternoon for a fight on board a northbound F train. Officers arrived and reportedly found a 30-year-old man unconscious and unresponsive. He was pronounced dead at Lenox Hospital. Police sources tell us the man was acting erratically on board the train, but it's unclear who the aggressor was in this situation. The other person involved in the fight was brought in for questioning. He is a 24 year old man who sources say is a U.S. Marine. We're told that the 30 year old who passed away had more than 40 prior arrests, most of them for subway assaults, lewdness, disorderly conduct, fare evasion, and the attempted kidnapping of a seven year old child in 2015. He was reportedly unhoused and emotionally disturbed. Riders we spoke to tonight have mixed feelings about the current state of the subway. Sometimes if I if I go at like midnight, it could feel not as safe. But at this time I feel like it's it's okay. Usually like I try to just kind of stay my way so like I'm not I'm not too afraid, but it's it's scary. Like you hear a lot of stuff happening, so it's kind of pretty scary. I think I'm feeling uh you know, as good as maybe one could feel about the general state of the subways. I definitely noticed an increased police presence at all of the stations. Uh, I haven't had any issues taking the subway. Helps me get everywhere, so I feel pretty good about it. Definitely a little unnerving to hear about the story. And police have not yet released the identity of the man who passed away, saying that he used multiple aliases during his prior arrests. Uh, but they did say uh, that they are working on this. And, if, and we also reached out to the mayor's office for an update on his subway safety plan to see how that is progressing. And we are waiting to hear back. Reporting live tonight in Soho, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.